Right, this is Patrick for Fans Live on Hoo-Ha.my. And after a fortnight of no Premier League action, we are back here with the uh, start of another week. Of course, yesterday we had a lot of matches, but tonight there's only one sole match. It's almost coming to midnight, and it's Chelsea versus Liverpool. So we're joining the Liverpool fans at Tropica Cafe at Star Park to see what happens between the Blues and the Reds. So we'll join them in the first half reaction, see what happens, and we'll come back and talk to them, see what and how Liverpool are doing in the first half right here on Fans Live. a free kick by Didier Drogba as you can see it's very quiet here oh no it's not no it's not oh it foxed everybody only the replay showed that it wasn't a goal and they're happy again It's halfway through the first half. It's still Chelsea nil, Liverpool nil. Although just now when you saw the reaction, almost thought that it was a goal through Drogba's free kick, but uh, it foxed everybody. I wonder how those guys who are watching it in 3D actually felt. But uh, nothing much happening. Liverpool have got a couple of chances coming in from the right wing through um, Glenn Johnson and also Dirk Count, which Ivanovic is finding it a bit difficult to actually hold on to them. But uh, still scholars. But we've got some tweets here. First one's coming up from James Neal, who is a Manchester United fan, and he's hoping for a draw lots of red cards and some injuries it sounds more like a spurs fan and then someone posted that the referee a referee lee probert should untuck his shirt a little bit which actually tickled dennis sims who wonders if anything of that sort should actually be tweeted so currently as it stands halfway through the first half it's chelsea nil liverpool nil <laughs> That's it, the end of the first half. It's uh, Liverpool who go into the break in the lead at Stamford Bridge. It's uh, Chelsea nil, Liverpool 1. We'll come back and talk to some of the Liverpool fans here at Tropica on Fans Live. Hi there, it's halftime together with the Liverpool fans here at Tropica Cafe. I'm here with uh, Mirza Tayabaram and also Ezri Suarez. Uh, I don't know how he made it from the pitch to Tropica that fast. But anyway, first of all, let's uh, check out with Mirza. Liverpool's first half performance, what do you think of it? I think uh, Liverpool's performance uh, was excellent today because uh, we managed to uh, put a pressure in, uh, to Chelsea midfielders. I think that's a very effective uh, move from Kenny Douglas. Okay. They normally play better away than they play at home, but uh, let's talk about Maxi Rodriguez's goal. Uh, do you think it was uh, greatly due to the fact that um, Chelsea actually gave it away in, in defence? Okay, Maxi Rodriguez's uh, goal is a super goal. Because uh, uh, long time he never played for a few games, so he really start to play now for this this tough game. So I think uh, he more can move another goals, can another score another goals. So he uh, do another right job lah. <laughs> nice. So it looks like they they're working pretty much well there. But uh, Ezri, I want to ask you, uh, you know, for a very long time a lot of Liverpool fans have been asking why isn't Dirk Kout playing? But he's playing today, but they seem to not have been gelled together in the final third. Uh, what seems to be wrong? They have the players around them when they go up front, but they don't seem to be linking very well. What do you think is the problem there? Maybe the cat will be a uh, long time they playing uh, together, so he lost his momentum for towards uh, for two days, and then I think uh, he's still there. He's still like looking back his uh, momentum. So I think maybe on second half or second half or the next game he will get the momentum to get gel back into the the teams. Okay, it needs to gel a couple of games before they actually gel back. But we've got the second half coming. You guys are playing at Stamford Bridge. Uh, Chelsea is not going to sit down quietly because AVB is a is a is a tactician. Whether it's a great tactician or a good tactician, we're not sure yet. What do you think is going to happen in the second half? 
I think probably uh, Chelsea gonna put uh, Fernando Torres and Nicolas Alonica on the second half and maybe put some uh, creative midfielders to uh, uh, to try to uh, break the pressure that have been put uh, by them uh, in the midfield. So I think that's uh, that's what uh, AVB is gonna do. Do you think uh, Liverpool can contain Chelsea coming forward in the second half? Uh, I think so, Ken. Because uh, I think uh, Chelsea will fight more because it's the, the own home, Stamper Bridge. So I think uh, it will go another goal, maybe Drogba or maybe Alan Pat. Do you think Andy Carroll will come in the second half and make a difference for Liverpool? If if we are goalless, if, if we still go, uh, is still on a 0-1, I think he will come in. Because I know uh, Kenny Dardish will put uh, another uh, tall player to get another goal. But will he score? Hope we score. <laughs> Liverpool fans are always hopeful that Andy Carroll gets one in the back of the net, but not if Fernando Torres comes in for Chelsea. So let's join Mirza, Taya Baram and also Ezri together with the rest of the Liverpool fans here at Tropical Cafe for the second half. Chelsea have equalised. Through the substitute, Daniel Sturridge, it's Chelsea 1, Liverpool 1, Andre villas Boas, and the Liverpool fans still don't seem very impressed. Right, it's halfway through the second half right here in Fans Live with the Chelsea-Liverpool match. It's one apiece and uh, the applause you heard at the background just now because uh, Liverpool is making a substitution, bringing out Raul Mireles and uh, bringing in who? Uh? Oh, Stuart Downing, another pretty boy after Jordan Henderson came on earlier on. Uh, but of course, we got a tweet here from Nat Torres or Nadia Torres with the rest of the uh, Chelsea tweets saying that uh, you should have stayed at a big club. That's what the Liverpool fans are singing at Stamford Bridge as they await to bring in two ex-Liverpool players, Raul Morales and Fernando Torres, who is warming up at the sidelines right now. We'll see what happens in the remaining of the second half together with uh, Liverpool and also Chelsea. perform much better away from home. Final score, Chelsea 1, Liverpool 2. We'll come back and talk to some of the Liverpool fans here at Tropica. All right, it's our full-time report here on Fans Live at Tropica Cafe in Star Park with very, very happy Liverpool fans. We've got Shazrul, we've got Adib and also Daryl. Now, guys, let's talk about the, the overall performance. Of course, it was lucky to get a 2-1 win towards the dying minutes of the game. And uh, well, the Liverpool didn't start. Liverpool tak memulakan separuh masa kedua seperti mana mereka bermain separuh masa pertama. Uh, Shazrul, macam mana anda ingat apa persembahan mereka? Mula-mula um, ingat macam aduh, dah down lah. Tapi bila tiba-tiba tengok, wah, semangat lah. Ha. Dah dapat gol dalam seminit tu, kira dah puati lah. Tapi perasaan anda cara Liverpool main bila Daniel Sturridge dapat gol penyaman untuk Chelsea? Uh, macam hampir sikit lah. Lepas tu, hampa lah tengok yeah. bila ada uh, gol. Tapi nasib baik, Liverpool bangkit lah. Okay. Daryl, your overall take on uh, Liverpool's performance? Um, they did quite well in the first half, but as you can see, the, the second half was not that good because Chelsea was pressing much higher and the players are more energetic because probably the manager says that there's not there's too much space in midfield. And Liverpool players, they still stick to the first half plan. That's why they get congested and give Chelsea the, the equaliser. And once they brought on Henderson and everything, they shot up the midfield and everything went well. Adib, uh, goal kemenangan Liverpool dijarinkan oleh ex Chelsea player uh, Glenn Johnson. Glenn Johnson, uh, okay. Glenn Johnson uh, adalah pemain yang agak memerangsangkan untuk malam ni. Ya, dia dapat bola dan dia boleh 
menjadikan gol tu dengan meyakinkan diri dia sendiri dan ya go on Liverpool when the end was end by the way yeah. ya nah, tapi yeah. tapi tengok macam dia carry forward dia punya performance dengan England pada hari pada hari kemarin dia macam ada form sebab England menang dan hari ini pun dia punya performance ag- agak baik juga ya yeah, agak baik uh, setelah lama dia injured ya yeah. dia try to be a better player lah kan but <laughs> yeah Just happy lah. Just happy lah with this oh, game lah. Okay. <laughs> but but there's one little problem here with the Liverpool team is because they do a lot better away from home than they do at home. Jadi persembahan mereka lebih baik dari luar daripada Anfield. Macam mana tu? Sebab mungkin fan dia kot. Dia punya fan punya supporter dia. Dia, dia boleh. ada pressure sikit ke? Ah, tak ada. Dia, bila fan tak kisah mana-mana janji fan ada dia boleh modal dia orang memang naik. So do you think next game also Chelsea uh, Liverpool is going to play away they're going to be playing away with the league leaders Manchester City do you think this away form will be good for them Yeah of course it is because our mentality away from home is fantastic we attack and attack and attack so I think Man City we're going to get we're going to get thumped by Liverpool Jadi mentality kat Anfield tu macam mana boleh ubah untuk mendapat kemenangan mungkin daripada gol pertama daripada Messi ya yeah. Itu yang membuatkan semua pasukan okey lah. Semua ahli anggota okey lah. Okay, yeah. so we'll just leave it hanging. So, Liverpool still do well away from home and their next game against Manchester City. Let's hope they can bring the league leaders down because we all need to catch up with them. So, that's it from uh, Tropica Cafe for fans live this week. We'll catch you next time right here on Wuha.my.